Also this morning, we're expecting tough rules for who can and can't enter the UK when the government unveils its plans for changing the immigration system today. The Home Secretary, Priti Patel, will set out how the rules will look once Britain leaves the EU at the end of this year. As the government gives more details on its Brexit plans, the Institute for Fiscal Studies says it still has concerns about whether the UK is ready. Our political correspondent, Tom Rayner, reports. <laughs> The election slogans may seem like a distant memory, but the government insists the pandemic has not pushed Brexit to the sidelines. The Home Secretary will later announce details of the points-based immigration system that will take effect from January. A document setting out how the borders will operate will also be published and a new public information campaign will be launched, including a website that allows individuals and businesses to check how best to prepare for the UK's imminent departure from the Single Market and Customs Union. In a statement, Cabinet Minister Michael Gove said, while we have already made great progress in getting ready for this moment, there are actions that businesses and citizens must take now to ensure we are ready to hit the ground running as a fully independent United Kingdom. This is a new start for everyone in the UK, British and European citizens alike. The precise nature of that new start is, of course, still unknown. Trade talks with the EU remain stuck on a number of issues. Ministers say the UK will be ready regardless of whether a trade deal is agreed. Some business groups aren't convinced. Firstly, we need to see from government much more detail and clarity around what there is to prepare for. There's not enough information at present to help businesses plan. Secondly, we want a commitment to some kind of phased implementation of the changes. That's something we would want to see reciprocally agreed with the EU, deal or no deal. And thirdly, we want to see um, some financial backing to help businesses access the professional help, the specialist help that they need to prepare for Brexit across a range of areas. Um, it's not something that they can be expected to do themselves. The Institute for Fiscal Studies has also raised concerns about the UK's readiness, saying the government must urgently provide detail on how its proposed shared prosperity scheme will replace the EU development funds on which many deprived areas of the country rely. With less than six months to go, we haven't even had a consultation on it, let alone confirmation of the details of this new policy. We don't know the full objectives, we don't know the rules, and we don't know how money will be allocated to different parts of the country, which will matter a lot not just for the councils, but also the businesses and charities that rely on this money. Today's government announcements may be intended to send a message to EU negotiators that Brexit is happening, trade deal or not. That may be so, but Brussels is unlikely to be deaf to the domestic concerns raised in response.
ताला हिंदुस्तान में जब तक सलीमा है लोग चूतिया बनते रहेंगे